It be part two. Close this door. So, to clarify, I believe we uh, left off when Ray J kind of showed up in the picture. Everything I say is alleged. This is just what you're reading, the best way I interpret what I hear, see, and feel. Some people may be something different than me, or they may just interpret it different. All right. All right, so Whitney, tell us more about, um, so show us your feelings towards Ray J. Whitney's feelings towards Ray J. We got justice here. Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Hmm. So far, it's kind of giving me this energy of, you know, we know Ace of Wands is action, it's passion, it's so many things. It could even be, you know, a sex organ. So, also getting this energy of a society or a meeting and a decision to make. So, let's just jump into it and get more. There could have been a disagreement or argument here. Um, even if it was in the past, maybe around music, so I'm not sure. Some type of work, though, or music. Let's get into it. So this is making me feel like a come up. We got the star for the justice, you know, seven of pentacles, and hangman. So this, again, is giving me kind of like up for review energy. Um, you know, uh, it's so hard to explain what I see, y'all, so bear with me. So it's like, I'm not sure when this happened how into the light Ray J was, you know what I mean? Like, we know, we all know Ray J, but, you know, some um, artists or actors or whomever may take breaks in between for whatever reason, like, they just not in the spotlight and popping like that. So it feels like, you know, I'm ready to get back out there, what y'all got for me type thing. It also made me think of FBI, CIA type energy, but it don't have to be that, but it's just like how the organization works type thing, like, like agents so it could be literally that allegedly or it could be both so let's see what else we get seven of wands sun card so Whitney may uh you know may have been getting ready to speak out about something maybe some type of new project or effort into something here moving into the three of pentacles let's see king of cups king of pentacles so this could have been because she was trying to get um two of pentacles nine of cups so with the justice this could have been about paperwork this could have been about um her music Why the page of wands? Yeah, see, so this is a come up. Under the page of wands, which we will say allegedly is uh, Ray J. We got the three of wands, waiting for your ship to come in. We got strength, eight of pentacles, could even indicate hard work. Uh, but this is somebody waiting for it to come up within their professional realm. A lot of two of pentacles. We got four cups. Lovers. So this could also be speaking about, again, why they weren't dealing with each other, how they used to, while wow, things have changed. So it's like this entitlement type of energy. 
Yeah, and we said on the last one too, like there was a physical fight. So we're going to get into that as well and try to get deeper on there. But I want to now look at what was on the note that Whitney has to uh, Brandy, Ray J's sister. What was on the note? That Whitney passed, Whitney Houston passed to Brandy, Ray J's sister, Brandy Norwood. What was on the note that Whitney Houston passed to Brandy? What did that note say? Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands. This could have been somewhat of a threat so far. Like, you see, look at that. Like, you think you're in a good position type energy, but you could be next. This could be you or they after you too. So it could have been a threat or a warning. Um, let's see what else. That's a lot, but we'll take it. Choose wisely. Don't fuck me over. Could have been like this pick a side energy as well for lack of a better term, but y'all get from paraphrasing. And then we got moon on top and two of swords on the bottom. Again, it's like pick a side energy. Then we have the ace of pentacles, seven of swords, and a four of pentacles. All right, give me a second. You know, she could have been talking about a setup. She could have been talking about, again, pick a side. You could be next. Watch your back type of thing. So let's get into it. We're going to clarify this a few times so we can get as close as possible. And again, obviously, this is alleged unless something comes out about it. And we, you know, no. So I look at that. She could have been talking shit about her family. You know, about Brandy family, or she could have said about her own family. But let's see, why the nine of swords? The king of cups and the queen of pentacles. You know, this could be like this energy of, you know, uh, you plan me over some money or something like that. You know, it don't necessarily have to be like, oh, you owe me money or something, but just, you know, you choosing that situation a come up allegedly over me type of thing no more eight of wands she could have been saying somebody's after her she's getting um threats or whatever so let's see what else All right, queen of wands then you know your time is up or my time is up you know however you want to put it however to come up but speaking of somebody's time is up somebody's watching them you know it seems like either a threat or a warning Five of Pentacles, see more money, more money, more left out in the cold. So maybe this is the only way she could get in touch with Brandy. Maybe Brandy wasn't accepting her phone calls. We did see that Four of Cups energy earlier. You know, I thought we were supposed to meet up, but she wouldn't show up. So I don't know. So after that, for the King of Swords, I mean Knight of Swords is, so we got the Hermit, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Sun. Again, it feels like communication. Like, you know, it's just like, oh, I couldn't get in contact with you. Maybe something was wrong with her phone or maybe Brandy was just ignoring her or something. But you like, this is the only opportunity I got to talk to you for whatever reason. Why the seven of cups? Choose wisely or options this empress. <clears throat> Tell me more. Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, she could have been feeling like, again, like somebody, like it could be that Brandy's for somehow, some way is in the middle of something, whether that's just two people or whatever, pulling her in each direction or trying to convince her of something. And again, this could be a threat or a warning. It's just like a lot of different things behind that situation. Because we got this. Slick swine and shit. Or she was like, I see what y'all do and I see the play type of energy. Why the tower? Or what was in that letter? We got Knight of Swords again. Very aggressive communication and, and moving towards 
I mean, Rasha Man. So tell me more about the towel or that note to Brandy. The cherry. Nine of Cups. You know, it's this energy of keeping somebody away from something or keeping somebody secluded. And again, it feels like I couldn't call you because whatever the reason, I couldn't call you. So this is, you know, this is me communicating. Why the Three of Swords? The Seven of Swords, damn. So now the Seven of Swords up here twice. Like somebody sees the play. Somebody may be accusing somebody of backstabbing them or trying to conspire against them with other people, allegedly. It's like this belief that you would treat me like this and you would go this far or betray me, allegedly. <clears throat> Justice and... The King of Swords. Do us right type of energy. Do the right thing. I'm giving you this opportunity, this option here with the Ace of Pentacles. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Why the Ace of Pentacles for the note that Whitney gave to Brandy? Four Cups. See, I've been trying to reach out to you, but you're ignoring me. Like, you're moving real funny. The Fool card. And you acting like you, oh, you, you ain't getting my calls or you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, you acting real shady, allegedly. Give me one more for the Ace of Pentacles, please. We got the devil. Again, it's like somebody can't be, feel like intentionally being secluded, secluding this person. Security. Could be talking about security and drugs, maybe. But the devil is addictions, you know what I mean? This is being tied down, whether by yourself or somebody else. Clearly, it's somebody running the show in this situation. But... Wow. Why the Seven of Swords twice? We got Ten of Pentacles. Somebody stole some money, maybe. Betrayed somebody. Family energy as well as the Ten of Pentacles. Give us one more for why the Seven of Swords is here twice. The Queen of Wands. So she could have been accusing Brandy of not having her back in some way, shape, or form. Why the Four of Pentacles? Why the Four of Pentacles? So I don't remember. It's the Four of Pentacles. To clarify, the Four of Pentacles. Hold on. See? Um, but I can't remember how big the piece of <clears throat> piece of paper was, but I don't know that I'm sure it wasn't this much information, but I'm just saying the energy behind it and possibly what was said or the energy of what was said here. So give me more of a four pinnacle. Why is it here twice? It's holding on to something. It's keeping something constrained. The, uh, Ace of Wands. Somebody won't let her, allow her to do something with the lovers. Oh, you trying to set me up? Um, something about fucking Ray J. Somebody could be a Gemini here or air sign. I'm not sure what everybody's sign is. But it's like, it's this setup energy. Somebody being fake to get close to somebody as well to betray them. Like somebody playing a long game or have been. Again, walking away from something, but not being able to. So she could have been talking about some incident that had just taken place. This could also be alluding to Bobby Christina in some way too, or just the energy behind it, like the other circumstances behind the scene that she may have been privy of or shared with her. Um, but again, paperwork, rights to music, etc. Okay, give us more about your feelings towards, uh, I mean, not this note, the paper, the note. What else was on the note? For Brandy. From Whitney. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about that. A time for healing. A new start is coming. So it could have, again, like I said, somebody sent, gave somebody the opportunity to do an olive branch to maybe start new. I've been trying to reach out to you. Um, maybe let's heal the past. Let's forgive. We need to unite because of what the bam. Let's see. Balance spirituality and practicality. Again, it's that four cups energy, that ignoring energy. Emotions are running high. Anything else? You and your loved ones are safe, but I feel like it's the opposite. All of this clarifying energy could be the opposite. You know, because like I said, this is a warning or a threat. A warning or a threat. Or both shit. It, it's like a lot of energy behind it. Um, one more clarifier. Then I want to ask how she feels about Pat, her sister-in-law. Tell me more. Okay. 
What else was in that letter? Courage. Okay, see, it's like pick a side. Pick a side, like, who knows? Freedom. You know, freedom of speech, freedom of my art, freedom. Out of, you know, again, like I said, somebody maybe had already attacked her or they was trying to not um, constrict her movements, not allow her to, you know, communicate or move around freely because maybe they had security calling her every time and she maybe she was scared to talk on the phone as well. But I don't know, acceptance wanted to pop out. Anything else? Grief. Okay, perseverance on top, surrender on bottom. What's this? Fear, peace, friendship. See, this is either her calling her out, pick a side. It could be all of these things. Her calling her out, telling her to pick a side. She, you, if I was there for you, I need you to be here for me or whatever. And also, you know, letting her somewhat know what's going on. Again, like I said, there was maybe a lack of communication in some way, shape, or form. So she could be saying that she's afraid. And if something happened to me, then it's walk the bam. So let's get these up now and see how Whitney feels about her sister-in-law. I don't remember her last name. Um, I would assume that it's the family name. It is Packy's one, okay. Okay. Whitney's feelings towards Pat Houston. What does Whitney want to say about Pat Houston? Everything I say is allegedly this is a energy reading, and I'm interpreting the cards the best way I can based off what I hear, see, and feel. Some, all, or none may resonate. Whitney Houston's feelings and thoughts towards Pat Houston. Clarity, please, and thank you. Seven of Wands, Uphill Battle, The Moon. So there could have been a deeper beef than we knew between Pat and Whitney. She's very slick and sly, does things. You know, she, she maybe she has a particular way of communicating so that it's secret, like. Maybe it was a particular person around that was either telling Pat things or telling Whitney things about one or the other, right? So let's see what else. The Chariot. Five of Cups. Hmm. So of course Chariot could be just, we do have Cancer energy up here multiple times. See, then we have the Death card. So this could be also a threat to Pat, allegedly. That something is coming your way. Some new things will be discovered here. So this could just be cancer energy with the chariot, or this could be a vehicle involved. We are going to clarify. Five of swords, very sneaky person. This person is going to get exposed. So I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we'll look more into it, of course. Let's clarify. Yeah, this is Whitney's feelings towards Pat, <coughs> allegedly. Let's clarify some more. Why the seven of wands? Why the seven of wands? Six of cups. Temperance. She never liked Pat. Never. Allegedly, never. King of Swords came and wanted to come in reverse. But either way, with the Seven of Wands here, it clearly indicates somebody that uses their intellect or uses people's strengths and or weaknesses against them and for her benefit. This is somebody that moves low-key and maybe is able to trick certain people about their true intentions. Why the moon? Why the moon? We got Knight of Swords. It's a secret conversation here, possibly, or a secret incident. Maybe not a lot of people know about, or maybe just her and Pat know about. But there's some type of conversation, aggressive threat here. Allegedly, for a good little minute, 
God has been trying to get with me alone. Give me more for the moon. Give me more for the moon. There may be a death in their family soon. I feel this two different ways. This could be in a couple. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this person sees it again. This future energy, plotting energy with the Queen of Cups and Knight of Swords. There was a threat that somebody kept their promise on, allegedly. A lot of Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Mm, interesting. King, I mean, Queen of Pentacles and King of Cups. So I don't know if somebody is a Scorpio as well, because that Earth and Water keeps coming up here a lot. We got Fire too, though. Everything has been here, but now somebody, somebody was propositioned when they were alone. So take that however you will with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. I'm not sure what that is alluding to, but this could just be somebody outside the situation that was propositioned to from Pat or Whitney allegedly. But we're talking about Pat, so. She likes to mix up stuff in between people. You see how this king and queen are looking opposite ways of each other. And we have all this other stuff going on in the background. But also, mixing people in situations that don't have nothing to do with each other is what I'm kind of feeling as well. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. Why the chariot? What's the chariot here? It looks like the energy is this chariot. The star. See, somebody... Mm. This also indicate jealousy. The star reverse, but see, Pat had it out for Whitney for a long time. Allegedly, maybe Pat is a plant infiltrated through the family. Three of Wands. See, again, waiting for somebody, the ships to come in, waiting for the perfect opportunity, waiting to get somebody along. So this could be somebody following somebody as well. See what I'm saying? Ten of Swords, overkill. Why the Five of Cups? The Tower wanted to come, but it popped back in. So the Five of Cups is the Two of Swords. The Chariot. I don't know if some, did some incident ever happen to Whitney in her vehicle? Uh, maybe even close to this time. So this could have been other attempts. There have been other attempts, allegedly. Um, Magician, Two of Cups, and Nine of Cups. See, again, maybe um, Whitney told her brother not to marry this woman. Maybe other people warned the family. Um, you know, somebody convinced somebody to allow this person to get close. So I believe, but I'm not sure, that Pat used to work for uh, Whitney. Against her better uh, judgment. It's like she's appeasing somebody trying to include. So why the death card at the final card? The Eight of Wands. See, I'm saying somebody was waiting to... You know, this has been attempted before, and somebody was trying to get somebody alone. Somebody was trying to do this for a while. See, look at this. Three uh, pentacles. Was she some the first person on the scene? One of the first people on the scene? And then kind of just left abruptly or, like, didn't really give a fuck? But again, this drug energy. Like I said, um, I don't know if Whitney was still using or not, but it's always... Based off of what you do, people can twist it and use it for a later experience to make it easier for people to believe any rumors or things that said about you. Yeah. So let's look more at how she feels about Pat. Let's do Soul's Journey. Tell us more about how Whitney Houston feels about Pat Houston, her sister-in-law. Hmm. Yeah, see, again, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is for the Seven of Wands energy. So this has been tried in the past, but um, either somebody was snitching low-key, uh, warning low-key, or it just wasn't successful with them trying in the past. And also, Pat's own failures, you know, contribute to the way she handles things and views other people allegedly. Acceptance wants to come in, like 
she would never accept defeat. She wanted to knock Whitney down a few pegs. But again, like I said, she never liked her. Acceptance wanted to come in reverse. Never liked her patience. What else? See what I'm saying? Somebody waited for the right moment to get somebody alone. Patience and loneliness. What else? Love wanted to pop out, but I kind of stopped haphazardly because I wanted to count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need two more cards. So let's see. Empathy. See, somebody trying to include somebody. Somebody trying to be understanding against their better judgment. Anything else? Can we get one more card? Look how that ended on top. And death is the last card to clarify. But let's see. Give us something for the last stack. Guilt. So, allegedly, y'all. Y'all seen it here. We all speculated probably, but here it is. Allegedly. Now, let's get into how Whitney feels about her mother. You know what? Wait, wait. We're not going to... Well, we'll do it since we already put it out into the energy. I want to make sure I get the right energy. But then we're going to do Bobby Brown's sister next. So we can see a contrast and energy in that. You know what I'm saying? So, Whitney Houston. How does Whitney Houston feel about Sissy Houston? Her mother. Whitney's feelings towards her mother. Whitney's feelings towards her mother. We got four cups. Could be indifferent. Could be feeling like could be feeling like her mom's looking the other way. We're gonna have to make a part three because I got some things to do, but I wanted to look at this and give y'all because I want to try to keep on schedule. Okay, boom. See, this is things that she may be saying her mom is not looking at. Um, maybe she don't care, or maybe she's just choosing to look away because it's easier, allegedly. Tell us more. Five of Swords. This is bullshit energy. This is competitive. So maybe she feel like she's indifferent and, you know, feel like her mom was competing with her in some way, shape, or form at some point, allegedly. So we only got three cards for Sissy. Let's clarify it. And then I want to ask about Bobby Brown's sister if I got time. And then we'll do a part three sometime soon. All right, tell me more about Sissy. Knight of Swords. Oops, shit, hold on. Tell me more about the four cups. Knight of Wands. She maybe told her mom that she felt like something was going on or that, you know, Somebody was capable of doing this close to them, but she chose not to, you know, chose to ignore her. Um, please, you know what I'm saying? It could have been some type of family meeting or just a meeting between them two where, where Whitney um, maybe told her some things that she hadn't told anybody else with the moon. By the moon, the Queen of Wands. You know, maybe even about the baby because the Page of Wands is here. Then we have Whitney as the Queen of Wands. I believe Whitney, I don't remember, but maybe a fireside Leo perhaps. But this is like, you're supposed to take care of my baby. Um, allegedly. I'm doing the Wheel of Fortunes here. You know? It's like people, as long as they get what they want. And again, there was some competition here. Eight of Cups, Two of Wands. So, I don't want to say I'm getting that she in on it, but she may as well be, allegedly. So I'm not sure, y'all. It maybe it was something about how quickly they moved on or how quickly they um, completed some type of process with maybe her body or discovery, allegedly. So the feelings don't seem all that great here because we have the tower and the fool card. And it's like somebody allowing something to happen, somebody looking the other way type thing. Real quick, Leola Brown. I'll look more at this later in Leola Brown. Later, let me see. All right, let me hurry up because I have 6% now. How does Whitney Houston feel about uh, Leola Brown, Bobby Brown's sister? What are Whitney's feelings towards Bobby Brown's sister, allegedly? Nine of Swords. Maybe she's worried about her, or maybe some, there's some type of stress here. Yeah, she misses her and loves her. Um, she could be worried about her. She has feelings for her. 
okay there's some type of betrayal here she's saying maybe this is a warning to her as well but let's see but this could just be maybe she feels some way about that but that's not really what i'm feeling but i want to read the cards as well so let's see uh, be careful is what i feel be careful is what i feel let's see so there's going to be some exposure um coming from the other brown which I did hear rumors of a book possibly as well. So that could be that. So she might be saying, be careful with that. Eight of Pentacles, you know what it is with the work energy and other things that happened at work. These are things that's coming out here. And be careful. Seven of Wands, water. I didn't drown. Look. Allegedly. Um. Something about a car. We're going to look more into that as well. Yeah, be careful with exposing the truth. See, choose wisely with the truth here in Three of Swords. Be careful who you talk to. Be careful who you work with type of thing. And I'm not trying to get any messages to anybody. I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, I was just looking to show a contrast in the feelings that come up here for other people. Um, yeah. Something about a mother figure or some past incident that happened between two people may be seen by somebody else whether that was third view or peeking around the corner something that happened in something about the relationship maybe possibly a oh so anyway i'll look more at this lady y'all 